All right, welcome back to part two of the video here. Let's take a look. Let me move myself. We'll go up here. All right. <clears throat> so, hopefully, you guys were able to figure out something very much like this for the right side of your paper. And if you didn't, we're going to go through and talk about it. And as I talk, add it in as we go through. But on the right side now, we're, our arrows are pointing up as they change from states of matter because gases are turning into liquids, liquids are turning into solids. It's the opposite of the left side. So gas to a liquid. That's when water vapor turns back into water. That's an easy example. So that's what happened once we put the hot can from the Science Friday when they imploded, when we put them in the cold water. We took all that gas that was inside, all that steam, and we condensed it back into liquid really fast. And that made the can implode. That was condensation. Fog um, on your windows, on your mirrors, the steam out from the shower when it hits the windows and it hits the mirror, right? That turns into liquid. If you go to, to wipe it off, it is wet. Your hand would be wet because it's gas turning back into a liquid. That's called condensation. That's usually the hardest one for kids to remember. I don't know why, um, but that's usually the one they have the hardest time remembering, condensation. Liquid going into a solid is freezing. So think about water turning into a solid, which would be an ice cube. So solid into an ice cube, liquid water into ice cube. That happens in a freezer. So it's just called freezing. Okay, that's freezing. The reason... Why all of this is happening is because of the big down arrow here. It's because energy isn't being added. Energy is being decreased. There's a decrease in energy. And so, again, we think about heat energy as the usual type of energy that's causing the change. So when a gas has lots of energy, the particles moving all over the place really fast, when they come in contact with something cold, like the mirror in your bathroom with all that steam or a nice cold pop can, on a hot summer day, that that liquid that's in gas form, I'm sorry, that water that's in gas form, water vapor, turns back into water as the liquid. So you get the sweating on the cans. You get the water or the, um, the, the condensation, the steam hitting your mirror, and you have that foggy mirror. That's condensation. That's because it's getting colder. Liquid turning back into a solid. Freezers, right? We think about that. That's an easy one. Obviously, it's getting colder, so it's freezing, right? Energy is decreasing, not increasing on this side. It's decreasing. Think about the speed of the particles. Gases are moving fast, lose energy. They start moving a little slower. Now they're a liquid. Then you're back to a solid, which they barely move. They just vibrate in place, right? So it makes sense if you just think about the movement of the particles of how, what the energy levels are, right? Solids, low energy. Liquids, a little bit more energy. And gases, a lot of energy. If we would have plasma on here, they have even more energy than gases. And so when they change from state of matter to state of matter, it's all about, well, are we increasing energy or decreasing energy? Okay, so if I have a liquid and I increase energy, that means it's going to turn into a gas. The particles are going to move faster, so it's going to turn into a gas. If I have a liquid and I'm going to decrease the energy, that means the particles are going to slow down, which means it's going to turn into a solid. It's going to freeze. So when you think about how matter changes from state to state to state, it's all about energy, and you got to think about whether energy is being increased or decreased to help you with that. All right, if you're not done and your chart doesn't look like this, pause the video, get it to look like this, then come back. Okay, so for the rest of class, one of two things are going to happen, okay? Either the teacher, and if this is fourth period, Mrs. Stahl, We'll go through, and you guys will play a Kahoot together that's not for a grade. It's going to practice the stuff from the first half of the unit as well as the stuff we just did. Not for a grade, practice. But I will tell you, you will see this again a couple more times, and eventually next week it will be for a grade as we practice this stuff, okay? If you are in a class and there's not Mrs. Stahl or the teacher's not leading it, you're just doing this work independently, you will find the link to the Kahoot in your uh, Google Classroom, OK? 
Okay. So this is a Kahoot. I might have said Edpuzzle before. It's a Kahoot. It's a Kahoot. We're practicing questions from the first half of the unit about the particles and then about changes of state, which we just did. Not for a grade, just practice. You'll either do it together with the teacher or you'll do it independently on your own. And the link is in Google Classroom. All right. That should be about it. I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow and have a good day. Make sure you get that done. Bye.